On January 17th to 19th, the steamboat and flat top zone enjoyed subtle weather and clear skies. Unfortunately, this was the ideal environment for growth of surface horror on the snowpack surface. The most recent storm began on January 19th and came in without much wind. The new snow buried the surface horror intact. Over the next eight days, the Buffalo Pass Fish Creek areas received three feet of snow, while the Flat Tops, Rabbit Ears Pass, and North Route County received one to two feet of snow. The larger amount of snow just north of Mount Werner formed a cohesive slab over top of our buried surface horror layer. Every day for the last five days, there were numerous reports of rider-triggered avalanches in this area. We also heard of at least one skier being caught. Although the avalanche danger has dropped to moderate, Heightened avalanche conditions continue to exist, especially around Buffalo Pass and Fish Creek. Dangerous human-triggered avalanches are possible. Although it is hard to rule out any steep slope, the most likely place to trigger a large avalanche that breaks two to three feet deep is on a northerly slope. Slopes that have this dangerous snowpack structure are places such as open meadows or open spaces in tree terrain. A buried surface horror layer is one of the trickiest weak layers to deal with. It is the cause of many avalanche accidents. With this buried weak layer, remotely triggered avalanches are common and normally safer lower angle slopes are also capable of avalanching. In areas such as North Route County where there is less of a slab, the surface horror layer is less reactive. Although there has been much less activity in areas further away from Steamboat Springs, surface horror still exists and all steep slopes should be evaluated before recreating on. Remember that with a moderate avalanche danger, you can travel safely in some areas, but the specific areas that we are mentioning have heightened avalanche conditions and dangerous human-triggered avalanches are possible in these areas.